Happy Thursday, boys and girls. Today we have a little bit of a, um, I guess a little more of a challenge when it comes to taking away. I'm going to explain, um, but you should write your name and you're going to write your today's date, May 21st, 2020. And I want you guys to look through all the problems right now. The directions say, write the missing number. If you look here, you know that they're all subtraction. And you notice that all of it is in their teens. We have the one in the tens place. So this is a larger number than what we're used to working with. And let's see how we're going to figure this out. We notice that um, they have a difference. They give you the answer to the subtraction problem. And we notice that they give us the first part of the number that we're going to subtract from in order to get the difference at the end. So what's the best way to do this? We, last week, spent a lot of time on drawing the 10 circles and then having some left, the ones. So we need to separate the tens and the ones. And we always took the number away from the, yeah, the tens, not the ones, because we might run out. And we won't run out if we take away from the tens. Then we added what was left over. So if you want to use some scratch paper, you can use some scratch paper to do this problem. I like to use my shiny paper, so I'll use my shiny paper. And I will show you exactly how I would do it. So we have 14 minus blank equals 5. So I can actually do this in the top of my head. What I do is I take away the four ones, and then I have 10 then. How do I know that? Because 10 and 4 make 14. Here's kind of like my number one. So what I do is I'll take away the four, but we needed to take away the five, right? So, so we know the parts. So what I find out is that I can take one from here and that'll be a nine. And I'll write a nine here. That's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is if you uh, took the 10 and 14 and you drew the circles, so you write the 14, 10 circles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because I know two tens, uh, two fives make a 10, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. We did this with our acorns, and we did this with our circles last week. Let's move it over so you can see it. Then I took away, actually, the 5, because the 9 wouldn't have been there, because we know that two parts will make that whole. So we take away the 5, and I can take away... 5 from here, and then we have 5 and 4 left over. 5 plus 4 equals 9, and I write the 9 answer here. Okay, so I'm going to erase this one to do the next one as well. If you look at the next problem, for me, I can do this in several ways again, but I'm going to show you the two ways I showed. I, showed. I said you can do 18, and then you can say 10, and eight. Why? Because we have one in the tens and eight ones. And we could just take away six from the eight. If we take away six, we get two left over and we still have a 10. So we need to put that together. 10 plus two equals 12. And we write the 12 here. We can also do it with my circles. So you have 18, Sorry, my marker's not working so well here. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because we have 18 that we need to make. Then we take away what? 6. You can take away the 6 from the tens, but if you look here, it will be very easy to take away the 6 here because we have 8 already. So we take away 5, 6, and there's 2 there. So 2 on that side, on the right, on the ones place. And then we have 10. 10 and 2 make 12. And once again, we can solve the problem that way. Boys and girls, I know this one, it looks like you would need a lot of scratch paper. You can do that. You can see if you can do it in your head as well. Because Miss Kim can look at this and know, four, I need to take away 